Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. In this episode, I would like us to just learn how to get the details, location details of a user who is interacting with our application from the IP address. So in this case, we can be able to get the country, the country code, the currency, and so on and so forth. And for us to be able to do this, we are going to use a package which I'm going to install. This is a fresh Laravel application, Laravel 10. And I want us to, in, to install this package. And what we are going to run is a command that will be able to install for us the package. So I'm going to run composer, require. And then we can have Steve Bauman, Steve Bauman, Steve Bauman forward slash location. I'm going to hit enter and this command is going to install for us that package. The link to the repository of this package I will include in the description. So let me hit enter and pause the video. We have successfully installed the package and now I want us to go ahead and use it. And what I'm going to do, of course, you can be able to put the code for storing uh, the, the user information, in other words, the user location, in uh, whichever place that you want. But in this case, I just want us to do it in a very simple way. We are going to have our code in um, web.php, in this case, in the routes folder. And I'm just going to use this view, the first view that uh, we load when the user visit the first page of our application. And what I want to do, I want to just uh, show you how we can be able to get the location. So sometimes you might be passing the request here, like this. If you are doing like that, then of course you have to import uh, the eliminate HTTP request. Eliminate HTTP request like that. So once you have it like that, you can be able to get the IP in this fashion. You can say request and then an arrow function, an arrow and then IP like that. So this will be able to return our IP and I'm going to just say return. Of course, the IP address that we are going to get is not very useful for us as of now, but let us just see what we are going to get. So if I'm to refresh, we are getting 127.0.1. So that is just localhost. So this one, if you pass in our location uh, uh, helper, then you will not be able to get anything because now this one is just localhost and it cannot be able to assist you. There is another way in which you can be able to get the IP without now using it like this. So let me just comment this out. You can also be able to just say return. I'm just doing return because I want it to show to, to show for us. You can just say return request like that and then the arrow and then IP like that. So even this one will work. So let us attempt and refresh and see if we can be able to still get the IP. And you can see we still are able to get that one because I've commented out what I had initially. So obviously that is how you can be able to get the IP and then you can pass the IP in our in our helper. So in this case, I'm going to now get the position. I'm going to put the IP by just an IP that I have that will be able to give us results. So what I'm going to have is position like that. And I'm going to say is equals to location. And for me to be able to use location, I have to include the Steve Bau Bau Bauman location facade. So here we have use uh, Steve Bauman location facades and then we will have location like that. 
So now I am allowed to use it here. So location, and then now you have it like that, and then get. So inside here, if now your IP, you are getting the IP, you are web page is now hosted online, you can be able to just pass to whatever, whatever it is that we're having here, the request IP here, and then you can be able to get the details. But for this case, I just want us to type in an IP. So I'm going to type 105.48.250.158, like that. I'm going to close this and I'm just going to return it. So we are going to return the value of position and let us see what we are going to get. So if I'm to refresh, this loading, it seems we might be having an error because it's taking a while. Let me see. No, it has, uh, it's just okay. It has been able to give us the details. So in this case, it is giving us the country name, null, the country code, KE. So in this case, you can get that this is Kenya. And then the region name is Nairobi. The city name is Nairobi. And then the longitude, it's giving us a value. And the latitude, it's giving us a value. And the time zone is Africa, Nairobi. So for example, if we just want to access the time zone alone, we can be able to come here and pass it. So let me uh, remove this. Let me remove this and then we can be able to have uh, position, position, and then time zone like that. And then I'm going to close this that way. So again, uh, if I'm to return now the position time zone, so this is what we are going to have. If I'm to refresh, now you can see it's giving us Africa Nairobi. So basically that is how you can be able to access the values. So if you want to pass into our view, you can be able to pass position and it will be able to have everything and you can be able to iterate and show to the user. But obviously, for most people, what they do, for the users that are using the application, for example, you are having an e-commerce website or something of that sort, you can be able to detect the currency and then you can be able to save those values in the database for some use. This is the end of the tutorial episode. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe if you have not subscribed and you can uh, share this video and engage in the comment section. Thank you very much.